Kodak Black was arrested last week in Florida. He was found asleep at the wheel of an SUV with a mouthful of white powder and several white rock-like objects on the ground. He was booked for possession, tampering with evidence, and violation of his existing probation with a traffic violation on top of it. The cop who arrested him claims he's tested the white substance and he tested positive for cocaine. Only to realize that his attorney, Bradford Cohen, claims the white substance found in his car is Percocet. He said, in this latest case, my belief is that the rock this officer found when tested will be a Percocet, not cocaine. The test the police did is a presumptive test for illegal substances. It just turns blue. So if it turns blue, it doesn't mean it's necessarily cocaine. It could be something else. Cohen believes with some help, Kodak can clean up and be sober. Kodak got hooked on opioids since this since his time behind bars where he got beaten badly by prison guards apparently. We wish Kodak Black well. We saw him at the release party of um Vultures with Kanye West and Offset and Ty Dallas Signs, Northwest or should we say Miss Northwesty? And um, he looked he looked fine. So we hope he gets the help he needs because uh, he's a very talented young man. Up next, Cardi B is single again. So this news comes a week after she unfollowed Offset and vice versa. She posted on her Instagram seemingly referring to Offset as a dead weight. She went live on Instagram to set the record straight on Sunday night telling fans she's been single for a minute now, to use her own words. Admitting she wasn't sure how to share her status with the fans, but she felt compelled to do so at this stage. She added she wanted to start the new year fresh and open. She said, you know, when you just outgrow relationships, I'm tired of protecting people, people's feelings. I got to put myself first. It sounds like a Diddy line there. This news comes after Blueface alleged Offset slept with Christian Rock. The two, as in Cardi B and Offset, got married back in 2017. But the foul, actually no, Cardi B files for divorce in 2020. So almost, what, three years in the marriage? She filed for divorce. Do to the same thing as usual, offsets, you know, infidelity. So she later withdrew the divorce, um, the the filing, and um, beside that they have two kids, culture, beautiful little girl, five years old, and two year old son with. Offset alluded to the fact that Cardi might have cheated on him, which Cardi denies. We wish both of them well. We know Cardi says she's single, but we won't believe it until we see the divorce papers signed and sealed. Until then, we hope they figure things out because we actually like them as a couple. Let us know what you think about all this. Comment below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. We love you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.